Aubrey Bauer Clark. I'm 31 years old and I'm a stylist here at Chemistry Hair Salon in Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm currently a level 4AA stylist and will be an owner in January 2016. I've just recently completed my Redken Color Certification Test in New York and I'm ready to take my career to the next level by becoming a Redken artist. This is my model, Kelly, and we are going to be doing some balayage techniques on her hair um, for a sombre look today. And we've already discussed our plan of action, so we'll go mix some color before we get started. Today I'm going to be working with Redken's Blonde Idol, and I'm going to use this in a 1 to 2 ratio. Um, one scoop of our Blonde Icing Power Lift to two parts of 30 volume conditioning cream developer. Some hair painting. I am going to start by sectioning my guest hair into four quadrants in which to paint in. So start by isolating the two side sections. Working my way to the back, two sections in the back. We did pre-treat the hair with some pre-art and some hair cleansing cream just to even out her porosity and cleanse away any product buildup, oils, anything from the hair. Once we get that divided into those four sections, I'm going to start in the front quadrant because I would like it to be lightest there around the face. And I'm going to be working in diagonals so they're nice and soft. I'm going to then foil my Redken Balayage board. I am going to do small slices, maybe alternating some weaves, just to get kind of a whimsical pattern going. I'm gonna lay that there with my clean brush. I'm gonna paint it to where I know I want that lightness to be, and then kind of feather that up further up towards the head, creating a W shape with my lightener. And I'll alternate my pattern, just making sure that that's super saturated. But I did take a super thin section, so it should be fine. And then I'm going to fold my foils. into a little packet. One more fold there. And move along up the head. Work it in diagonals, leaving some out in between because I really do want it to be soft and subtle. Just something different. She doesn't feel like she's just one black color. So this next section, I decided to take a weave and paint onto my foil board. And lay that down. Make sure my brush is, has just the right amount of product on it to paint. This time, I'm going to create a V shape. I'm 
really working it up closer to the head so we really get some lightness around the face. And instead of folding, I'm just going to slap another foil on top of there so it's nice and even doesn't move around. My lightener doesn't move around. Set up my next foil. Again, leaving some out in between. I'm looking for something super subtle. I love my Sanvia clips. They're great for dry hair. Super thin see-through section. I'm gonna use this last foil, actually, with my foil board behind there for stability. Just to conserve some foil. This time I'm gonna create an A shape. Kind of a V up at the top, get some variation going. And again, just make sure that's super saturated. Pop another foil there, start building some stability. side, lay the hair on the foil and now it's thick enough where I can just hold it and not have to use the board. And I'm going to go back and create a W shape. I'm also varying how high I take the lightener on each section so it really looks super natural. part line, I'm going to weave out instead of slicing so it's super soft at the part line. For right now, i still work with my slices into that last section on the part line. Move that over, lay it down gently. This time I'm going to go in with my V shape. And a little bit higher towards the head. Feathering it up. And pop that foil right on top. Get a nice flow going. So on this section, I'm gonna take it from that part line and just do a nice little weave there. So now that I've finished this section, I'm just gonna gently wing this back so she's more comfortable while she's processing and move along to the other side. And again, I'm gonna work in those diagonals to keep it nice and soft. I'm gonna continue up this side of the head just as I had done on the right side. In diagonals and slices, Maybe throw a weave or two in there and definitely weave as we get close to that part line. So as we move into the back, 
I may do just a little less, but working in the same pattern, just because we almost want the lightness to diminish. Work up my section, leaving quite a bit out. Still working in slices. Just tuck that hair behind there. that it's all fully saturated and lightly feathered to the top. There's two more sections here in the top. If I wanted a little more lightness, I'd probably back to back these, weaving one, slicing one to get a little more coverage, but since we're going for softness, we're not doing that today. I like I get the bulk of the product off at the bottom, and then I could really feather what's left on my brush upward. Turning my brush as I move up the section. Turning the brush keeps it super soft. If I forget like what I did on the last one, I can always just take a little peek. So I did a weave there. Yeah. Use that as my reference. Okay, we're gonna let this process. Um, I'll be checking her every five minutes or so. Um, I did have to remix some lightener on my back quadrant, so it should be nice and fresh and it should all come up at the same time. Let's say within about 15 minutes. We're gonna check it at the bowl and if we need to put a little Shades EQ Gloss Toner on it to give it that nice tonal value. We will whisk her dry after we shampoo and then apply that um, nice toner. I did end up toning Kelly at the bowl with a little Shades EQ Gloss 09B, one cap full, and three fourths of an ounce of 09N, fourth of an ounce of clear, and the arrest processing solution. So that gave her just a pretty cool neutral uh, blonde on those ends. And we're gonna come back in for her blow dress style with a little 18 stay high. And I'm gonna use just about a dime size in my hand. I'm gonna emulsify that until it's a nice rich mousse. One thing I, I love about the day to day is really getting to teach my guest how to use the products that we use on them here to recreate that look at home. That's where I'm really comfortable. So I will instruct Kelly to charge it up on the pads of her fingers from the palm, really working that at the root to get that lift right where she needs it. And as we move along to the other side, to charge up those, the pads of our fingers again and really work it in the crown. And then whatever's left on my hands, I'll come through, kind of pull through the mid shafts just to give that lift a little support. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit of our smooth force and the frizz dismiss line, everyone's favorite. And I'm just going to miss this on the ends of her hair. 
working that in. And then I'll go in with just my hands in the blow dryer, getting it 80% of the way dry before we go in there with a the round brush to start to finish that look. Gonna finish Kelly's look with a few soft waves. Done with our Sambia flat iron. Just to create a little action. I did prep the hair with a little Iron Shape 11 for some hold and some heat protection. And I start to see that color in there. color, some nice lightness in there. You really showcase by these flat iron waves. <laughs> 